It's 9 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday. But tomorrow, I hope the other bands of Hurricane Irma will have good luck. In this case, the outer rain bands of Hurricane Irma as we speak. Again, we are under a hurricane warning right now, but there's an encore presentation of today's special with Adam in progress with an exciting guest. Oh, that's right, Eddie. I can't believe the fun has just continued so far. Well, let the hurricane fun begin, Kelly. I will, Eddie. As we get into our good behavior here at HSN, people behave all the time. And I hope they have their lasting impressions, even when they prepare for the worst of what's to come. Well, as we speak, people are preparing to deal with safety issues. And I hope they stay safe in the event of a hurricane like this. Well, we are really good in that. We are letting a good set of HSN fans know that we're now under a hurricane warning. I talked to those models about a hurricane warning earlier. I do believe you talked to the models about the warning. I talked to Regina. I talked to Sonia. I talked to Nikita. I talked to Emily. I talked to Lauren. I may have talked to Barb and I have talked to Donna. I talked to those models about the hurricane warning. There may be a possibility of an extreme wind warning, a storm surge warning, and of course, an incredible flood warning. Oh, well. Should a storm surge warning, an extreme wind warning, and a flood warning be possible with the hurricane warning already in effect? Yeah. It should be possible down there. Oh, well. You gotta be kidding. There are a lot of people that predict the weather for people who love to survive in bad weather, such as tropical cyclones. You write about a tropical cyclone quite like this. Hurricane Irma may have been a Category 5 hurricane at first. It may have been believed to be a Category 4 hurricane by someone else. Hopefully it goes down to a Category 3, Category 2, or a Category 1 hurricane, or it goes down to a tropical storm, or it goes down to a tropical depression. Well, we know a lot about that as we speak. <laughs> and a friend would have to get the latest hurricane forecast one day. And the storm is forecast to be around Category 4 hurricane force winds. Are we going to be having hurricane force winds during the hurricane warning and the possibility of a storm surge warning, a flood warning, and a tornado warning? Well, that would be right there. Oh, yeah. There could be a possibility of a storm surge warning, a flood warning, and a tornado warning during the hurricane warning, which is already in effect. Yes. Hurricane Irma is expected to hit Florida really hard. Again, it's going to bring big rain, big winds, and a possibility of a storm surge, if a storm surge warning goes into effect. You're right. I do believe that there should be an extreme wind warning in addition to a hurricane warning. And there might be a tornado warning during the hurricane warning as well. The warning we've had so far, we've been under a hurricane warning for a while. Yeah. Well, less than a week ago, that hurricane watch was upgraded to a warning. You're right. The hurricane is expected to hit Florida real soon. You know, we would be all right with that. Yeah. And I love to thank all the other people who have survived a lot of hurricanes quite like this. And there are people who'd love to survive a hurricane like it. Well, it's Hurricane Irma, and there's nothing quite like her. 
she's about to make landfall here in Florida, as Brett told the folks at home before 3 o'clock this morning. All right. We are having a hurricane party that starts off here at our HSN campus in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's where we are, and I hope our HSN St. Pete campus doesn't get damaged by Hurricane Irma. At least we're under a hurricane warning, and we may possibly go under a storm surge warning, an extreme wind warning, and a tornado warning. I'm not sure which warnings will go on in addition to the hurricane warning. Will there be a storm surge warning? Maybe. Will be there an extreme wind warning? Maybe. Will be there a tornado warning? I mean. Will there be a tornado warning? Oh. Will be a tornado warning, I guess. Hopefully, we'll find out. Well, will there be an extreme wind warning? Will there be a tornado warning? Will there be a storm surge warning? Correct me if I'm wrong. I corrected myself about those three questions. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say something wrong. What are the questions you asked us? Could there be a tornado warning? Could there be a storm surge warning? Could there be an extreme wind warning during the hurricane warning? We'll find out. Oh, well. Can't believe we're under a hurricane warning now. <laughs> now is the time for us to be prepared. We may have to head out the door because our HSN St. Pete campus will be closing soon. That's right. And we are going to make lasting preparations. Oh, yes, sir. We are ready, almost ready, for Hurricane Irma. I doubt you are ready, just like I am. And are you in the mood right now, sis? I sure am in the mood, Eddie. But you may have had a lasting impression whatsoever as we prepare to deal with the wrath of Hurricane Irma. I can't believe she's coming into Florida like a monster. Oh no, she hit Cuba like a monster, and the Bahamas. Oh, you're right about that, sis. But Adam was nailing a good presentation. Oh uh, yeah. I guess Adam is making preparation, and he's headed off to Nashville with Bobby and Suzanne and Sarah. Oh, well, that'll be great. I can't believe they'll all go out on a charter plane. Well, in this case, they're Adam and Bobby and Suzanne and Sarah. Oh, well. They're going to have to deal with the Hurricane Irma from Nashville. Yeah. They'll deal with Hurricane Irma hitting Florida as we speak. Yeah. I believe that she could bring hurricane force winds to Florida. Oh, well. We will find out as the storm approaches. We are going to look forward to a day quite like this. It is fun here at HSN. Oh, well. The thing about three HSN water cups has already been left in. The post-production people here at HSN already would leave those shots in, such as the shot of the three water cups. I can't believe that shot was already left in in post-production. Yeah, the most exciting editing technique is good. HSN's post-production facility may run on backup power forever. You're right. The facility has a lot of backup generators, and it'll be all right. Oh, well, you should be kidding. We talked about the thing about All Children's Hospital earlier in the hurricane break, but it'll be all right, though. We're just making some last-minute prep, and we are dealing with it right away. Hey, Peter, Matt, 
are you going to be all right? Of course. I will be all right there. You gotta be kidding, Peter. That's my name. My name is Peter. And I know what I said to myself. You gotta be kidding, Peter. There you go. You gotta be kidding, Peter. Yeah, you said it. There you go, Eddie. And I have a question for you, Peter. Oh, well. Is that what you're saying to yourself? Well, yes. I'm actually wrong, but... I have a question for you, Eddie. What's the question? Would you like to have good snacks during the storm? Sure, we would love to have a snack during the storm in Orlando. I should not be very afraid when a hurricane hits Florida anytime soon. In this case, Monster Hurricane Irma. She could be at risk of being a superstorm hitting Florida. But I don't care. It'll be alright, though. Well, sis, you heard bloopers from me and Peter so far. And, of course... The pretty models, too. In this case, they are Regina, Sonia, Lauren, Annette, Emily, Donna, and of course, Barb, and... You're right about that. Oh, well. Is Regina ready? She's almost ready. How about Annette? She is, too. How about Sonia? Her, too. How about Nikita? Her, too. How about... Emily. Her too. How about Lauren? Her too. And how about a friend like Donna? Donna is going to be ready. We'll have to find a way to put those models to safety. Yeah, we sure will, sis. It'll be all right. We'll just have to find the right temperature setting for anyone who wants to be in the storm's path. But Anyone is not going to be in the storm's path, as far as we're concerned around here at HSN. We are dealing with the worst of what appears to be a catastrophe for the state of Florida. Next up, Alice was nailing an incredible value. But don't worry, Alice from Dallas is helping us. Oh well. I can't believe Alice from Dallas is going to be a true hurricane survivor. We are going to be true hurricane survivors for sure, Peter. Well, you know that, Matt. It'll be all right. Because the fact is, when a friend survives a hurricane, things are going his or her own way. you got to believe there's a hurricane coming to Florida. That's right, the hurricane's coming to town, Peter. Yep, it is, Matt. Hey, Nikita. I can't believe you. I'm working with you guys again. Are you going to be all right? I hope my dog Jax is all right. I hope my jackalope is okay. Oh, well. All right. We're going to have to leave soon before the HSN campus closes so that we can go together to pick up Jackalope. Oh, yeah. Nikita, do you think Jax will be okay? Yeah, I hope Jax is going to be okay. And by the way, I do thank the Lord for my consideration during and after the big four hurricanes of 2004. Those hurricanes were bad. But Hurricane Irma may not be as bad as those four hurricanes were. Oh, well. Listen, Nikita. You may be right about Irma as we speak. She can hit the Tampa Bay area of Florida really hard, and she can have a devastating impact, which could turn out to be a catastrophe. Oh, well. <laughs> I bet Hurricane Irma may have turned out to be a local tragedy here in Florida. Oh well. We must leave here as soon as we can. 
so that we can go pick up your jackalope or whoever your dog's name is. I'm going to have to go pick up my jackalope and bring him to safety. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> what do you think, Nikita? I think about my jackalope every day. And who cares? Why do you have to watch out? There's never been a hurricane quite like this until now. I would have told my jackalope. Peter, what do you think? I think it's going to be fun here at HSN. Even though Alice was shot during the Labor Day sale in this encore tape, it'll be all right. Just you believe in it, Nikita. Oh, well, it'll be all right. Well, uh, Peter, Matt, you guys want to see my cool dog? You guys can't wait to see my jackalope. And I hope he will be able to survive Hurricane Irma with us. That's right. I hope Jax could be taken to a dog pound or could come with you and come with us to the hurricane shelter. Our strong hotel here in Orlando, or I mean, strong hotel over there in Orlando, serves as a hurricane shelter. Would you be all right with that, Nikita? Well, that hotel is a nice hotel. It may have served as a hurricane shelter for pets, which is why I decided to bring my jackalope with us. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bad call for you, Peter. I guess my jackalope will be waiting for us. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding, Nikita? I'm kidding, Peter. But you've got to be kidding like me. Is anyone going to be in the storm path? Anyone must not be in Irma's path. If Irma is going to be on the warpath toward Florida, she had to take a turn slowly sometime. Okay. Well, we're going to have to leave here so that I could go pick up my jackalope from home in Nova. Nova wants to help jackalope. So we're going to have to help Nova and jackalope survive. <laughs> In this case, uh, Nova and Jax over there. I guess Nova and Jax are still home. Thanks, Nikita. You're welcome, Peter. <laughs> Nikita has two wonderful pets, Jax and Nova. <laughs> I heard the nickname of Jax as a jackalope. Why, Peter? <laughs> That's how I asked a friend, or you asked me. That's how someone that tells me. Why, Peter? Why do you have to have a preparedness action for a Hurricane Irma? Yeah. I know a lot about that. You guys can't wait to see my jackalope. Again, you guys can't wait to see him. And you guys can't wait to see Nova, too. <laughs> so, as always, I guess the jackalope's gonna have to go with us and Nova. You're right, Nikita. I can't believe you have pets named Jax and Nova, by the way. Oh, yeah. I was turning on the radio, and I was listening to Hurricane Irma information. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, I have a feeling it lasts when I want us to ride a storm quite like this. Yeah, you know, Hurricane Irma would head into town this instant. So, it'll be alright. We are just surviving. Oh, yeah. I can tell you one more time. I can't wait to see my jackalope. 
and you guys can't wait to see my jackalope. We can't wait to see your Nova either. Oh, well, can't wait to see him too. Oh, yeah. We're going to be out of here before they close our St. Pete campus down. <laughs> Why are they closing our St. Pete campus here at HSN? It's because of Hurricane Irma, that's why. You're right, Peter. Matt? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to love that jackalope when you see him in Nova. Walking into that van. Oh, well. I can't believe it. I hope Nikita and her jackalope and Nova are going to be real safe. I know we ladies and gentlemen here at HSN can help Nikita, Jackalope, and of course... Nova? Nova. That's right. We can all help Nikita, Jackalope, and Nova survive the worst of Hurricane Irma. You right about that? It'll be all right, Matt. Hey, Peter. Yes, Matt. Things will be fine for Nikita Jackson Nova. Nikita and her pets will do a good job in preparedness for the storm. Oh, yes. There are big trucks. Oh, yeah. People are getting up, and we find some pickup trucks, and they're packed. Why do we have to be a survival expert for sure? Or a group of survival experts? I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, Matt. Well, I could show you a good trick of mine. You guys can't wait to see my jackalope later today. <laughs> Starting later today, I should say. Oh, starting later today. You guys can't wait to see my jackalope. You guys can't wait to see Nova, too. That's right. We guy, we ladies and gentlemen, would have to wait till we see Nikita's pets. Is that true, Peter? Yes, Matt. It'll be all right. Because here's another good deed. Marlo is a really good deed, and she nailed an incredible presentation about a fuller brush pr product. I mean, fuller brush product, I'm sorry. Fuller brush? Are you kidding? <laughs> it doesn't matter if I mispronounce something, but correct me if I'm wrong, okay, Nikita? Okay, Peter, I'm sorry. But don't worry, things are going our way, right? Right. You gotta make lasting impression. But I don't know how long it's going to take for us to prepare for this massive event here in Florida. Yeah, Nikita, you should be just fine. All right. Well, I have to do something. I can't wait to pack my stuff. I can't wait to pack my pets up and ready to go oh well and get ready to go and get ready to go i'm sorry correct me if i'm wrong all right i'll correct you if i'm wrong i'll correct you if you're wrong correct me if i'm wrong okay nikita okay we'll correct ourselves if each of us is wrong don't worry. You're going to have to be happy, of course. It's all right. Hey, Peter. Yes, Matt. We are working hard to be prepared for Hurricane Irma. And she's about to make landfall here in Florida as we speak. And we're under a hurricane warning, Peter. I mean, Matt. Yes, Peter. Oh, well. You gotta be kidding! Are you kidding? 
Well, it turns out that it might be a happy ending for a friend's relationship. The preparedness for Hurricane Irma may have ended the relationship once in a while. Well, I've had a friend do specific topics. Oh yeah. I'd be okay in the event of a storm like this, but things are doing well. Even for Marlo, who is being prepared for the hurricane. She and Bill have had their hometown of Miami about to get hit hard by Hurricane Irma. What do you think, Peter? I would be fine about Marlo and Bill's hometown of Miami getting hit hard by this hurricane. Well, we know it's about to make landfall in Florida. Yeah. Florida is usually sunny, and we usually work here at our HSN campus in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's where we are. Oh, well. You know what it takes to be prepared, don't you? Everybody is going to have to be very happy when they prepare for a hurricane quite like this. We know about it, for sure. Yeah, we do know about it, as we speak. Oh yeah, Marlo and one of her guests hangs outside on the encore tape. Oh well, it was shot in the outdoor studio, as we speak. Oh, yes. Nikita, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Peter. But I have to make last-minute preparations. Final preparations in this case, Nikita. You're right, Peter. Oh, yeah. So, how are things going this morning, Peter? Matt, I have a question for you. What, Peter? What do you think about the hurricane, Matt? It has a good latitude and a good longitude, Peter. Are you kidding? A friend of mine would love to use a full sparkle all-purpose and window cleaner when the Hurricane Irma passes. He doesn't need to use that window cleaner until the storm passes for sure. I hope my friends and family members are safe and sound during the hurricane. Oh well, we'll have to be safe and sound for sure. All right. Oh yeah. Yes. Everyone is right there. And it's a great time for safety to be a primary concern. Yeah, safety is our top priority. We know it's priority number one. Yay! Nikita, can't you wait to see your pets help us survive a hurricane? You're helping us survive a hurricane like your pets. Is that true, Nikita? It is true, Peter. Matt, are you tired of having the best product during a hurricane? Well, you've got to have emergency supplies. Well... I can't believe there's going to be a weather emergency soon, Nikita. There sure is going to be a weather emergency. But I do believe people who are in the hospitals right now can also be prepared for Hurricane Irma. Doctors, nurses, and other medical staff are on site to help patients prepare for the worst of this massive storm. Well, I know about that, too. And everybody would be okay with that. Well, it'll be all right. So, thanks, Peter, Matt. 